What's up YouTube, Speedy Superior here once again with another set on another Pokemon. Today's Pokemon is Ursaring. Um, Ursaring isn't really used much. Well, I don't see him in battles and every time I've, I've battled people I hardly see Ursaring. But this, this set is a pr pretty good set. I think Ursaring is overlooked a bit even though he has um, decent HP uh, based stat, but his defense is kind of lag, so it's pretty bad in that area. But, let's see, I realized that Ursaring gets Guts ability and Quick Feet, which is pretty good. I don't think, I don't know why the Unnerve ability would help on anything, unless you're just running a different type of Ursaring and wasting his attack stat, which is base 130. But see, Guts, whenever you're poisoned, burnt, or paralyzed, instead of, especially on the burn part, it, usually your attack drops. But in this, with the Guts ability, instead of dropping your attack, it increases your attack. So either way, whatever, if you get a status at the beginning, it doesn't matter because you have a Toxic Orb. And the EV spread I want for this one is since your your guts ability is increasing your attack, it's better off to go with a speedy nature so you can try to outspeed the most um, Pokemon that you're able to outspeed with that because it does have a 55 base speed, so it's not it's not really good in in the speed area, but it's good to just invest in speed so you get the outspeed on some Pokemon. Let's see, I went for Jolly Nature, 252 on attack, 252 on speed, and 4 on HP. Um, that's a set that pretty much works for this, and I went for Facade, Facade which power is doubled whenever it has a status power, including, um, not including stab power that you have, because it is a normal type move, and you and Ursaring is a normal type Pokemon, so it's going to hit pretty hard with Facade. And then Crunch is just there because you really don't have anything to counter Ghosts. You have Earthquake, but most Ghost types will have Levitate or something. And you're not going to be able to touch them unless you have Crunch or something. And then I gave it Earthquake, which is mainly for Rocks and Steel types. And then there's the Fire types as well. Um, there's also Chandelure that will always, you know, most likely survive an attack from you or something. So... And the last slot is close combat. You can here you could either go for protective even though I don't recommend it mainly because you're you have toxic orb. You're badly poisoned, that means the the poison damage is gonna increase every turn. So you only have a certain amount of time left out in the battlefield until you go down from the poison damage. And it's not like you're outspeeding every Pokemon either, but you're gonna be sweeping some Pokemon out. So that's the first set for Ursaring. The second set is another Toxic Orb set. And let's see. This, well, going back to the first one. Here, you have a Toxic Orb or you could have a Flame Orb. Because it is a Guts, guts ability. So if you want to take less damage, you can give it a Flame Orb. But going back to the second set, I gave it Toxic Orb. Because the ability is quick feet, which means that the speed is increased by 1.5. Um, and whenever you're paralyzed, there's also it's ignored and your speed will still increase. And let's see, the set I'm running is Adamant Nature, 252 on attack and 252 on speed and 4 on hit points again. This reason being that you, I, I decided to go with Adamant because since you have quick feet, your your speed is going to be basically um doubled so almost so your speed's going to be pretty high you're going to be able to outspeed a lot of pokemon and you're going to be able to hit hard cuz you're going with a beneficial nature for attack the moves i decided to go on this it's sword stance to increase your attack if you get the time cuz you do have a limited amount of time cuz of the toxic orb and the damage you're taking from other pokemon then there's Crunch, Close Combat, and Facade. Although you could have, I don't know, you could, instead of Swords Dance, you could run Protect if you want to Protect. Either way, you, gotta, you have a limited amount of time with a Toxic Orb. So, 
And that's the set for Ursa in here. Close Combat is there because it has a lot of coverage. I mean, you could choose different other moves. Let's see, if you want to increase your defense, you do have bulk up. Or if you don't want to run a Toxic Orb, you can run a different item. And it gets Belly Drum. That means your attack, your attack is increased by a lot. There's also Double Edge. You could run that. And Ursaring can also learn Cross Chop. So, either way, you could. there's many ways to run Ursaring. And he also gets Gun Shot if you're worried about fairies. So, um, you're going to be doing good with this Ursaring. And then you also gets Home Claws, which increases your attack and accuracy. Instead of Swords Dance, you could run Home Claws, so you could... If you wanted to run Gunk Shot and then you're wanting to run, run Cross Chop, it also gets Night Slash. And I decided to go with Crunch because it has more power than Night Slash, but Night Slash does have a high critical hit. Um, it gets Seed Bomb, Shadow Claw, Stone Edge, Super Power. You could run Super Power if you wanted to, if you're going to do a lot of switching out. Or you could run Thrash as well. There's so many options that you have with Ursa Ring that you're not limited whatsoever for Ursa Ring. Um, you're definitely going to sweep some Pokemon out. You know, I'm not saying that you're going to sweep a whole team, but you're going to get a lot of the worries out of the way. So Ursa Ring is a pretty good Pokemon on that area. But definitely keep Swords Dance in first place. The second Ursa Ring is more like a setup type or string where you have leftovers, you have guts, and you're running substitutes or just behind substitute that take away your substitute, then you go for return, earthquake, and then you pretty much are going that in that direction. If they, they don't know that you have the guts ability and realize you have leftovers, they might think you have um, some other ability that's not gonna help you. Like quick feet, if they burn you it's gonna lower your attack. So they could never know what ability you have. Um, this one I'm running Adamant Nature, 240, 248 on hit points, 192 on attack, and 68 on defense. This Ursa Ring is more durable in the defense side. Special defense still lags in this set, but it, it's durable still. Because Ursa Ring still has a, a pretty decent HP. It's 90 base, so it's pretty good. And that's all the sets I could come up with for Ursa Ring with... Um, Let's see, I don't normally use Ursa Ring, but this, these sets are definitely worth looking over to and using them with a team that Ursa Ring would fit great in. Well, Ursa Ring is a normal type, so he fits into almost any team that doesn't have too many weaknesses against fighting types. So that's pretty much for this video. If you watched this video, thank you so much. And if you, have, if you think I did something wrong, tell me. If you think I deserve a like, just give me a like either way. And don't forget to subscribe. To my channel, uh, there's more future videos coming here uh, about different sets of other Pokemon and more future giveaways I'm planning on doing. And thank you again, and you have a nice day. Bye.